everybody, it's Avra, and today we get to look at the latest and greatest from SparkFun's GPS modules. We've got the GPS RTK Dead Reckoning Breakout Board, as well as the FAT for Raspberry Pi. As the world becomes more technologically connected, the more imperative location has become. It tells you where you are, where you're going, and what kind of specific phenomena happen in certain areas. But have you ever found yourself hiking in some heavily wooded forest and your GPS can't determine your exact location and you start to freak out a little because you don't have an analog map or compass with you and it's getting dark and you might be completely lost in the wilderness? Or perhaps you've experienced a loss of continuous positioning under other poor signal conditions like driving through tunnels or parking garages or getting lost inside of a mall. Well, lucky for you, the newest GPS RTK Dead Reckoning Board utilizes uBlox's Automotive Dead Reckoning technology, which means it can calculate your current position based off of your previous position and speed. So even when you're in densely covered areas, it can maintain continuous positioning. Furthermore, uBlox's ZF9R receiver has a wide bandwidth, which allows for it to receive many satellites in parallel and enables ultra-precise real-time kinematic services. Basically, any time that GNSS alone would fail, the GPS RTK Dead Reckoning modules are able to fuse IMU data, GNSS measurements, wheel ticks, correction data, and a vehicle dynamics model to provide optimal positioning accuracy. Plus, we've created an incredibly thorough Arduino library for uBlox-based GPS products in which you can configure bowed rates, update rates, geofencing, spoofing detection, and much more. We've also provided 13 example sketches and a heck of a lot of documentation. For the Raspberry Pi, there's an extensive uBlox Python package that also integrates with the Quick Python package. Depending on the project you want to tackle, you will need an antenna like the GNSS multi-band magnetic mount antenna, as well as a power supply system for your microcontroller or Pi. The possibilities are endless with this technology because you're no longer limited by where you can't go. These modules can be used for asset tracking in warehouses, they can be used for gathering environmental data in forests, like tracking pine beetle kill, they can also be used for getting an insanely precise position of your car in a parking garage. And while I could throw these on my car dash to exemplify their outstanding navigation abilities, I think we should go a little more bare grills with this and test out their wilderness skills. I went to the deep dark depths of Left Hand Canyon here in Boulder, Colorado, and underneath the canopy of Ponderosa Pines, sent the breakout board down Left Hand Creek in a boat. I actually disabled the IMU and effectively the dead reckoning so that I wouldn't run into calibration issues. I tracked the location every few seconds so that I could map out the creek using high precision position and accuracy. And then using an SD card breakout, logged the serial data to a CSV and imported the data to Google Maps to see where on the creek the boat floated. So what will you do with these modules? The world is your oyster, even if you're just playing in a creek. Let us know what ideas and projects you have in mind for the Dead Reckoning and RTK technologies, and make sure to pick up these modules and start hacking at sparkfun.com today. Hey there, everybody. It's Avra, and today we get to look at the latest and greatest from SparkFun's. <laughs> they can be used for gathering environmental data in wooded forests. Obviously, they're wooded, they're forests. I didn't realize how hard it'd be to be in front of a camera, you know? It becomes more technologically connected. It's, in oh my gosh. Ugh. I gotta stop doing this to myself. <laughs> Furthermore, uBlox's ZF9R receiver receives stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is a learning opportunity right here. <laughs> okay.